Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, we are here today to play Alan Wake 2. I have never played this game. Um, been waiting to play it just for some other games I was playing to die down. Um, but this game looks incredible. So, um, yep, never played it. Let's uh, let's get into it, okay? <clears throat> I didn't really play the first one too much. Um, I should have a little more, but I don't know. Something about the... I guess call me privileged, but um, I don't know, going back to the first one and those first graphics are kind of whack, but um, yeah, I have heard that this game is incredible, so let's back check it out. Beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Okay. Creepy. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Ooh. Like the symbology? This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. Oh, what the fuck? This story is a monster. Wow. That's pretty cool. And monsters wear many faces. out of shape. I mean, trust me, I need to get back on the working out wagon, but wow, this makes you feel a little uncomfortable, I guess. Uh, now, what does that remind me of? I live in, um, I live in Washington State. That reminds me of something, something close to there. Maybe along, like, the coast of Oregon. If anyone else remembers, uh, put it in chat. I love this uh, scenery. This is very eerie. Oh. Oh, at first I thought it was a car. But that's uh, the hikers. Oh, oh. And we scared them off. I mean. I don't know. What would you guys do if you were hiking you saw some naked dude bustling around I don't know man I think I've, I've I've played too many horror games or read too many horror fiction to just like ask I don't know I would be freaked out so oh. okay wow uh, this design is beautiful. It reminds me of the forests, like, near my home. Beautiful. Oh! It's a deer? Oh, shit! What was that? Some intense flashbacks ambient noise like around us like spatially around us there's a lot of creepy shit going on we are not alone in this forest <coughs> sprint I'm talking about left shift okay. well I don't know how much how long this dude is about to sprint oh, 
shit. Uh, well. Creepy. Trying to make out what it's really saying. Man, the dreary PNW vibes are just awesome. But what they've been able to accomplish. Is that a parking lot? It's a dumpster. Okay. Trailhead. Oh, are those hikers? Oh, fuck. Shadow people? Okay, probably not that way. Wait, that's a shadow person too. Wait, where the fuck do I go? Down here? Uh, nope. Okay. I don't really know where the fuck I'm going. Shadow people behind me. Okay. Oh! Fuck! How could I have dodged that person? Holy oh, shit! What's going on? This is very intense. I was not. So from what I remember in the first game, Alan is a writer. And so is this like the fictional world? The cult of the tree, are these the... Very good opening. <laughs> what the fuck, that was crazy. Kiddo, how are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. Sorry, I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, A little Luca. warm pack from my back. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Hmm. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. Are you listening to I'll the let you new get back to the show. Sage. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. <laughs> love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. <laughs> I will. Bye, kiddo. Man. I don't, the. Just. The environment design Logan is thinks just you try gorgeous. Cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Mm, that's right, she's an FBI agent. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me mm. as the backup. Okay. Weird. I think, uh... Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Looked like... Not to nit I don't want to nitpick and stuff, but it looks like that. Her partner's... Big voice... Voice... Here we are. Graphics... Cauldron is, uh, lagging behind a little bit from the audio. Time to get to work. Well. A 
deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? Man, look at Eaten this, dude. Bear. I'll check out that map. So cool. Invitation. Turn one, okay. Okay, look at that. Cauldron Lake Campground. Very cool. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Looks like these guys are starting to fight. Hey, oh, there we over go. Here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm <clears throat> Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... I still just can't get over how beautiful the, the environment is right here. here Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. <laughs> Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were That's doing interesting around that, the woods uh, at night. Not sure that we get to choose the dialogue. City folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's <laughs> person when they should be trying to tiptoe you know, inside. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. The Everything's been closed store. since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, oh, all okay. of it. Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get to the crime scene. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Review, review the clues. Wow, look at that, man. That's really pretty. Okay. Um, under the fence, down the path. Let's see. Pony like a path. Oh, should I be going? I guess I should be I going. I need to think path. through the facts of the case. Oh, okay. Case board. The mine place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. What an interesting... The facts are on the board. That's pretty cool. I like that. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Yeah. Case board is meant the technique that allows her to analyze clues and progress the investigation. That is super cool. All right. You are now free to. Well, let's check this out real quick. All right. Previous murders around the town of Bright Falls. Murder method: bloating, only commonality. Let's see, bruising, deep gash in the chest. So all of them are missing their hearts. There's a dentist, there's a teacher, there's a store owner. Uh, Post-mortem tattooing. Animal butchery. Huh. Okay. Case board. I have the map. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Oh, interesting. Yet? We're just getting started. 
Let's head down the hill to the crime Interesting scene. Interesting that the mind board doesn't pause. Hey, Casey. Game. Okay. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Okay. Yeah, man. I am seriously in awe of this. This is gorgeous. Oh, little, uh, little weird collision. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Huh. Wow. The mighty mountain in the distance is no no other than Mirror Peak, an iconic landmark from a right angle, beautiful reflected. Very cool. Very cool. Me and my wife will stop at every one of those placards when we're on a hike or a trail. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's <laughs> too much sky. Man, this guy needs to retire. Trail. I wonder if this was uh, modeled Not a after. Bad place to get murdered. <laughs> after a specific campground or something. Your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. <laughs> nice. Looks pretty uh, dilapidated. Pretty funny to listen to them bicker. They said around the liquor store, not liquor store, Hi. but general store. There we go. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, behind the store. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You <laughs> forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? <laughs> you guys hiring? Oh, he's Let's just see this body, shall we? Nice. Now this is the scene of the Can't crime. We this found him on the gorgeous. table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Kay. Ritualistic. Oh, okay. Another go. body turns up just as we arrive in town. This is a pretty cool, like, mechanic of the game. Uh-huh. Okay. So, collect clues. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Okay. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Uh -huh. Inside stab wound. So Chest cut does... open. Heart removed. It's gonna match. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is going to match. Yep, major chest trauma. 
Oh, you have to drag it. Consistent move from previous chest. murders. Strapped yep. by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Clues have resolved the open question and unlocked abduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay. Aha, uh, so investigate the crime scene, learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple mm -hmm. killers? Okay, let's just go with... The killers... And... Where does this go? Boot prints. Indicating multiple killers. Multiple assailants present. Quite the party. Pro crime of passion or predicated. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Hmm. This is a good question. Uh, what else? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He Nightingale. was FBI. He came to town about huh. 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Interesting. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Interesting. Robert Nightingale, last seen 13 years ago, okay. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty okay. quick after that. <clears throat> so what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. I'll spit him out, booze, homie. Booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Oh. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Okay. Alright, let's put some more of this shit up here, so... Yeah. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Hmm. Okay. Let's check this out. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Kay. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Premeditated for sure, my guy. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. <clears throat> what was it again? Cult of the tree? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? That's a good question. Victim came from. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. 
piece it together. Man, this is cool as shit. I love this. Okay. <clears throat> Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Okay. So do I go back to the case board with that revelation, I guess? He came from Cauldron Lake. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Okay. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Icons on the bottom left corner Leave the weapon. indicate. Oh, I think I was just telling me something. Okay. Uh, whoops. All right, let's go. Now going to go investigate the lake. This is one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Ooh, I like that. That's interesting. Whoa. That's cool. Just the sheer scale of it. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come... Hmm. A page full of texts on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Oh. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How, How could they, they not accept? accept? Even, Even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. Here's, behind, here's Alan Wake breaking the fourth wall. Someone's been watching us. Playing sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I 
go back into here. We found page. a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. Did Nightingale come to Bright out. Falls to like find Something out about Alvin? Inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Okay, so let's see. The blocked path is there. And we need to make it to Guess here. That's what I'm guessing, I'm not sure though. Man, this I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Oh. Figure out what happened to Nightingale. Oh, is that not I thought it said Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Very confused. But I already checked those out, so do I need to go? Oh, manuscript is there. I guess I need to update the case board again. Oh. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Uh -huh. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Oh, okay. I got it. Got it. Casey. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. Man. But what's the purpose? This is, I know They're twisting this events lot, to create their really own narrative awesome. to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? <clears throat> all the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't uh, let it, it drag you control. in. Too late. The other game that they I'm already control. hooked. I need the next chapter. Did you get lost, Anderson? Made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, <laughs> I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Okay. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Yeah, I thought she had just said she wants to do take the body herself. But. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. 
Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Huh? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> fragments can be used to upgrade weapons. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Oh, I don't have enough whatever these things are, but Okay. <sighs> Interesting. The system that uh hmm, system that we have yet to experience, so okay. A little neat. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff well, they in were, something uh, for us to find. <clears throat> Weren't they, they were interrupted. I don't think on the other cases the heart was left. Weird. <sighs> okay. Shortcut is indeed very nice. What is this? I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Finally made my way to Calder Lake. Fence is easy to climb over with the proper gear. Orange crowned warbler late in the season. Something intriguing about the behavior surrounding the common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. Some strange sounds carried on by the wind. Hmm. Oh, sorry, guys. Moved inland. Village is stunning. Must come back in the fall. Had to stop and sketch this gorgeous. Oh, here we go. Some drunk guy swagging around the forest, really acting weird, maybe drugs, kept my distance. After I saw the weirdo guy, they changed spots, moved up the mountain, starting hearing wolves or wild dogs. Something is really not right. Huh. There's nothing else to grab. It's just, you just read it? Okay. Interesting. Glad I stopped to look at that. Oh. What's up here? Just the same shit, or...? <coughs> oh, okay. Go. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Are pretty, I can't uh, get like that, that manuscript whole page out of my head. Really cool. I've never seen killers. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Let's reach out so directly before. Where that the audio can out. Their work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. Hmm. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm uh, thrilled to be here for this mystery. Huh. Need to Very swing by the lodge to get glitch. anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town.
The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Man. What a beautiful Does environment. What coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> Here we go. Now we have the Bright Falls map. I guess, is it... This stuff is all, um closed off because it's flooded so this is the town um, <laughs> this is the place we have access to okay yeah, very cool there's no Nice sockets for those guys, interesting. Deer fest. Not to toot my own horn, but I am oh pretty darn dear. sure my <laughs> hour float will be the bell of the ball at this year's deer fest. Just a few more days. Man. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Okay. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Oh, Excuse me. Huh? I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgin Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. Uh, I was down at the lake, getting some details. Go. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. <laughs> then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos and deer masks. The cult of the tree. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. Like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. Cult there we of go. the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a. Oh. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Hmm. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's Imagine there. talking to someone. All they of a sudden they like closed their eyes. The lake. For like Private five party. minutes. And, no and you're passing. just saying like, what my the hell? What's going questions. on? And uh, they just come out the like, so They broke in mind. for the sake of Tammy's book. Not making fun Nothing of it is very cool, murder. but I think it's a little they silly that you can truth. do it in the middle of like real time. 
you know. Anything to do over here with the case board? Anything to add here? No. Okay. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. I told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <sighs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. Oh. How are you? Um... I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. <laughs> That's weird. so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Wait, what the hell was that all about? Some strange foreshadowing? Good to see you. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? <laughs> I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? That was a weird interaction. Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Okay, that's definitely foreshadowing. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. All right. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. How are you? Man, seriously, not for the so last time. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. Props to. I guess you guys don't center. have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Wow. Something about morgues. They always cheer Definitely me up. Definitely, like the environment is the same. He's joking. Shifted the tone, like very well done. Very, very well done. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. And just like look at the difference between I'll start with the external inspection before those performing lights, the internal and then examination. These lights, you know. What was the cause of death? 
What other? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. Okay. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He yeah. put up a fight. There's writing on here. Writing on the heart? Ooh, that's Can't make weird. it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. What did they lead? Uh. Okay, I'll start to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Anything to add, learn from the body? Yes. Cause of death. Nah. Uh. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Ritual writing, and I think the heart goes with that too, right? Yep. Text is smudged. No, Looks inverted. There we go. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There we go. Okay, it goes there. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Chest trauma, cause of death, bloating, tattoos. Okay. Let's check this out. Sorry, everybody. This is not. This is. This has nudity. And this is not for kids. Oh, another manuscript page, huh? That's what I'm guessing. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Well. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. No. Oh, I see. Safe haven's when your stores are ready. Go!
Wow. Damn, dude. That was super cool. That was pretty incredible. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty crazy. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. Wow. Um, I'm gonna take a break here, guys. That was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start a, a playthrough series of this, so um, if you enjoyed it, please uh, come back and watch me on Twitch or watch me on my YouTube. Um, thank you guys again. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night.